Right, so hey everyone and welcome back to another budget photography video. Yes, my microphone is broken so I am holding it. Apologies in advance, but it's still working so put up with it. It's that time of year of when parents are going to be sending their kids back to school and going back to school for children can be quite scary, but we're not focusing on that. We're focusing on the fact that school photographers are a rip off. And that's me saying that as a photographer myself, they are a ripoff. It is so much cheaper to go elsewhere or, as I'm about to show you, come in closer, come in closer. Shh, can't tell anyone. You can't, come, 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 come on. Get closer. Just get fucking closer. Do it yourself. So that's what we're going to do. My son has recently got his uniform ready for reception. He's, he's, he's really excited about it. Now, what I will say is I do have the consent of mum here for him to be in the video. And also the logo of his school will not be in the video. We have two types of jumpers that we have. Yeah. One with the logo and one without the logo. So we are going to be using the one without the logo. So you guys don't know what school he's actually going to because that is one of the conditions that me and his mum wanted. We don't really want his school to be known. So yeah. Also, sorry for this really harsh lighting. I've set this up really, really quickly. So there's like this line here of like harsh lighting just hitting my face here and then just absolutely nothing illuminating this side of my face. Anyway, why don't we go out and take some pictures? Well, come on then, hurry up. So first of all, I want to say sorry for three or four different things. First, there's a helicopter flying over. Second, the poor audio quality because of the wind. I forgot to bring a dead cat out and the underexposure of my image. I'm going to sort that out now. Let's, um, nope, wrong way. Uh, oh, God, no. That looks better. So, here we are in <laughs> quite literally one of my local parks. And I'm here with Noah, come here. Hi. My little one. Ugh. Now, I did say that he doesn't have this is part of his school uniform, but obviously, as you can see, there are no badges on it. So, yeah. Love you. Love you. Can you go stand here? So I'm going to start with actually this tree here. No, out over here. So I'm going to start with him just standing right there. And I'm going to move a little bit closer to him. Sorry that you guys can't actually wait a minute. Am I even actually recording? I don't remember pushing record. Oh, yeah, I am. Okay. Look that way. Right, look at me. Look over here. Good boy. Right, fa right, face that way. Right, now look at me. I bet he turns around. There we go, that's it, perfect. Good boys, keep looking at me. Noah. There we go. Now, I've got it in burst mode, purely because he's, well, he's about five. So they don't tend to want to stay still for very, very long. So, yeah, he's, he's young. Kids don't take, st tend to stay still. You okay? Right, can you sit down? Take your hands out of your pockets. Good boy, that's it. Actually, I'm going to change to the 24 to 105 so I can get a wider field of view, really. Cool. My phone was in there and I just dropped a lens on it. I hope my phone's okay. Yep, yeah, it's fine. Thank God for that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay down and I'm gonna zoom into 70 millimeters. So sorry if you guys can't see me anymore. And there's an ice cream man. Put your tongue away. There we go. Because what we're getting now is we're going to get 
the background, the midground, and the foreground. Because we're going to get the grass, we're going to get, you know, the subject, we're going to get the background as well. Have you got some grass? I think, I think we'll change locations. So I am going to be um, moving locations. To move locations, I need to move this rig. So you're going to have to come with me. Come on. Oh God, this is really blown out. <laughs> Sorry for the blown outness. I think we'll get him leaning up against a tree that is just there. So I'll shove my stuff there. And I'll set this up so you guys can see because you can't see anything, you know, can you? So let's um, bring the ISO down. There we go, that would be, that would, that's okay. Yeah, I mean, the sun's directly behind us. Right, can you put your shoes there? Your nice shoes there. <coughs> Good boy. Right, can you go over against that tree? No, this one. Right, so what I want you to do is I want you to stand here. Yeah. I want you to lean. Can you do, uh, what do we reckon? What do we, no, no, no. What do we reckon? Let's stay like that. I think that could look quite nice. I think. Okay. That was changed to bulb. My shutter speed was changed to bulb. Rather than manual. And then what we're going to do yeah. is you're going to stand here. Yeah. Again. Yeah. yeah. Lean up against the tree. Okay. Put your leg up. Put your arms down. And that one. That's it. Good boy. Can you uh, can I check my monitor a second? Let's um, zoom in on that so you guys can see it a little bit better. Let's zoom. There we go. Look like that. Right, look, at, look at Daddy. Although he does look quite nice in his little uniform, I must say. Even as his dad, he does look really, really nice. Yes, ice cream man. We'll get some later. Can you stand over here? So, yet again, I need to move this rig. But this time, not as much. Just to um, there, really. Although I don't think you want to be like that. You guys want to be like that, don't you? There we go, ooh. That little one's not that happy. Right. Uh, okay. Actually, I've got an idea. Put that down. Lay, lay down. That's it. 
I came up with a different idea, but I think it should look quite nice if you guys can see it. Let's, um, there we go. Are you okay? So I'm gonna join him on the floor there and kind of go for the same thing that I did earlier on. And kind of go for the foreground, background kind of thing. Noah, look at daddy, please. So this is 105 millimeters. Now we'll look up. Go like that. Hold your ha head up though. Let's turn around this way and do it. Face this way, whoops. No, yeah, stay there, stay there. Let's go for here then. So I'm gonna go into 105 millimeters and look at daddy. Oh, I must say he's really hot out. And I was gonna put him in his jumper. Um, put your legs down, but there we go. But I'm glad I didn't because it probably would have been way, way too hot for him. Uh, okay. uh, even I'm struggling in this heat. Because of how hot it, it just is so hot. Right, get up, sit up. On your knees. No, sit on your knees. Cross your legs. Good boy, that's it. All right. Are you looking forward to going to school? Yeah? Is school behind me? It's not though, is it? Is it that way? Okay. Are you looking forward to meeting your new teachers? You have two, do you? Huh? I have two teachers and Yeah? Sorry, I've muted this clip as he decided to say the name of his school. So you'll have to deal with the fact that this part is muted. Well, I'm going to have to blur that bit out. Because he just said the name of the school. We don't want that, do we? And there's a plane going over as well. No, well, look at Daddy, look at Daddy, look at Daddy. Good boy, keep that part. Look at Daddy. Smile. There we go. Who's a good boy? Are you a good boy? Yeah. Yeah? So the only real problem with doing it this way is the fact that it is a little bit more stressful for you. Because now not only have you got to take the pictures, you've then got to edit the pictures. And yeah, now if you are shooting them on your phone, then that isn't really a problem because most phones will do post-processing themselves. So you won't really have to kind of deal with that. So yeah. But just to show you guys that it can actually be done, I'm gonna shoot on my iPhone and I'm gonna screen record what the pictures look like live. So you guys, I'm gonna change the, um, I'm gonna change this ISO first, uh, feed over to my iPhone. So here is obviously the little one. And then we're gonna go into portrait mode. Now my 5D is left over there. Okay, put the stick down. Good boy. And then we're gonna go in a little bit closer. Let's move the stick out of the shot for a minute. Can you move that piece of grass from between your legs? <laughs> Sit here. Sit here. Good boy. There we go. So again, this is just with an iPhone. Look at daddy. There we go. So we can change the look that we want within the iPhone. And personally, I do like this studio lighting just here. I 
think it looks really, really nice. And especially at this lower level, it looks even nicer because we still get that kind of, there we go. Look at daddy. There we go. I'm gonna turn this upside down so I get a better shot. Can you lay down for daddy? Yes, sir. <coughs> Good boy, hold your head. No, other hand as well. Hold your cheeks. <laughs> oh, this boy. That's it. Now, the only problem with that using the, you know, the 12 mini is the fact that it doesn't actually have a dedicated zoom camera. So portraits aren't as good as they could be as something on like the Pro Max or the Pro. Now, luckily my Galaxy phone is able to use its laser autofocus and lots of other fancy stuff to get really, really nice pictures. So I think we'll change over to my uh, wrong pocket. <laughs> I think we'll change over to this phone and go from there. So here we are in the Galaxy phone. And if we go to portrait, and as you can see, it's actually used the two times, well, the three times, I think it's actually five times optical zoom that this phone has. Put your legs down, Noah, and we can take some really nice pictures just like this. And we'll go down, let's move out a bit. We'll move in physically and we can get a nice bearded bokeh. You can obviously see that it is kind of faked bokeh but it does look quite nice. The, Im the images look quite nice and you can change how much blur you actually want. And you can change, you know, everything that you kind of did in the iPhone, you can do in After Effects kind of on here. And that's quite strong though, I must say. So I think we'll pull it back. Uh, anyway, um, we'll definitely have to edit them and yeah. So is it possible to get your own school pictures? Yeah, it's very possible and you probably should be doing it rather than paying a really expensive photographer to be doing it for you. You're just wasting your money. Even as you saw, you can even use your phone. You don't have to use portrait mode you can just take the normal pictures of your kids and they will still look just as nice. Anyway guys, thanks for joining me in this video and I'll see you in the next one.